All right, back here in round two of this 8-4-Q. Playing against a guy with like a red-green aggro deck. No early drops, but I don't think I can mow this. We got a cultist into Griptide. I just hope he has it doesn't have a second turn. He got Staff Shepherd, but I drew. Yep, he had it. Luckily, I drew this cheat guys. So. We're running well here. And if he doesn't pass pass his turn to flip, I get to play a cultist to block. Will not block here. Okay, so he did flip it. Well, let's get in for some uh, one one beats. Uh, spider graphs. Looks like he had uh, the perfect foil. Well, maybe I should have played the cultist first, but that's too late. Luckily, I do have a grip tide in the lines, and then uh, also a makeshift mauler. Let's see what he's got. Ambush viper. Eh, we'll leave grip tide up. And we'll see what he has. Who knows? We might be going a uh, beat down with this deck. Mauler gets around a Rack of Madness too, which is nice. Alright, getting in for another three. Portrait Spirit, okay. Mildly annoying. Um, yeah, it's going for the beatdown and we can grip tight as Gatsap Howler. Because unfortunately we can't block any of these. Does he have a Ranger's Guile? Eh, even if he did, he could have cast it last turn. Alright. Looks like we're uh, winning this race slightly now. Scavenger. Alright. That definitely stops my ground game. Also, unfortunately, drawing nothing but land. But let's go ahead and cast a Ranger System here. And have Magic Online Crash. One second. Yeah, I think I definitely need to reinstall after this match, maybe. Well, not after this match, after these videos. <laughs> Alright, so we at least slowed down the beats. Oh, Shepherd and a Fox. In an island. Definitely not what I want to see. Uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> middle thought scour, sure. Um Yeah, we got nothing. So we're gonna get me down for five this turn. Possibly more. Okay. Yep, that's game. Um, I think our mill plan is still our best plan. We just need some like early game action. Yeah, let's, let's get this lab maniac out again. Really not sure why I'm having the main deck. Storm out guys actually does not come in. Maybe a corpse lunge would be able to take care. I mean, I had no of course lunge would be no good. Yeah, not sure what I can put in. I guess divination. But at least uh, this time I'll be on the play, and hopefully uh, I'll have a much much faster hand because I need stuff like my typhoid rats and sensory deprivation, dead weight, etc., to survive their early game. Yeah, it's it's always hard in matchups like this where you know your opponent has a fast deck and then you draw like you know uh, a three lander hand and then you can have you have some good stuff in your hand but 
it's kind of slow, so you're not really sure what to do. So my ideal hand would be, you know, Swamp, Two Islands, Typhoid Rats, Dead Weight, Deranged Assistant, and then maybe like a Fortress Crab or something. Let's go ahead and pause the game real quick, or pause the video. Alright, looks like he did not see my mill plan because he's only at 41 cards. So let's go ahead and play first. Yeah, this is a much better hand. Uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, I'll save this in case he has a werewolf. Uh, actually, no, no, there's... We have Silent Departure. Let's go ahead and Thought Scour him. Daybreak Ranger. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and pass the turn. <laughs> yeah, this guy has a pretty good deck. Oh, no early drops. That is perfect for us. Um, can't activate Drown Yard yet, so this turn is pretty much just Typhoid Rats and go. <laughs> Got a, there's this uh, Shepherd. Ooh, nothing for the first three turns. That's really good. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just leave everything back. And uh, start the Drown Yarding. Yeah, I'm just happy to stand back in Drown Guard. Unfortunately, can't cast Relentless Gods yet. And I will happily take one damage a turn from a Village of Bellringer here. You got it. Ooh, Keswick Wolf Run. Yeah, this guy's deck is just amazing. Green White Beatdown with a Red Splash for Daybreak Ranger and Kessig Wolf Run. I also have the option of milling myself here if I really need to cast Relentless Gobs, but I could always uh, throw my Typhoid Rats away if I really want to do that too. Oh, there's a Travel Prep. Yeah, and if he preps that, I'll gladly throw a Typhoid Rats in the, in the way. Briar Pack Alpha, sure thing. Yep, definitely uh, going to be exchanging for a Bri Pack Alpha this turn. Prey Upon. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, he definitely kept like a really slow hand, which is always nice for me. Oh, well, eh, let's, let's gamble. Watch I mill like something amazing. Nope. So this turn, yeah, I think we just play Relentless Gobs here. Exotic that. And we, we don't really want to assign a departure either of the Alpha or the Sleuth. I'm also fine if he uh, wants to like Keswick Wolf Run to uh, take off one Undying. Even even Moment of Heroism is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Just simply trying to slow the beats. Uh, 
All right, uh, fire a four four. So not too, not too scary. I'll go ahead and just play out occultus here and then round yard him. Uh, I mean, even though these guys are bigger, I'm not sure I actually want to silent departure either of them either, because both of them will get uh, him some value. Oh, he has the Warlord. So that's not enough to kill me. Yeah, I should have calculated that in. I definitely should have a uh, bounce one of those guys in. Let's see. So I think my play, if I cast Curse, I still have enough mana to Drown Yard and Silent Departure. Um, but other play would be to Silent Departure twice. Yeah, I mean, if he not has another Warlord, he's pretty much going to win anyway. So let's go ahead and Curse him. And then Silent Departure, the Woodland Sleuth, I think. Obviously, I'm not signing departure from the Mark of Warlord or the Alpha. <clears throat> well, actually, you know what? Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that, that was a bad play by me. Now I'm actually dead. Though with Kessig Wolf. Because this guy will take three, I'll take one, two. Yeah, I'm not sure if I could have gotten out of that though with Kessig Wolf Run. Well, so uh, unfortunately, a round two exit uh, against a far superior deck, I have to admit. <laughs> Never drew our increasing confusion, which would have won us that game easily. But uh, well, sometimes uh, magic happens. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.